Okay, strap in everyone, because this is going to be a detailed video. Hello everyone, this is Christine, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through eight different piano apps and talking about their song libraries. We're gonna be taking a look at where you can find the song libraries, the genres of music they have, difficulty levels, and the number of scores available. Now I've broken down the apps into two different categories. We have those that display it in a scrolling format, so the music scrolls across the screen as you play it, and you can really only play the song within the app. And then we have those that display the music in more of a sheet music format, which you can also print. If you're interested in any of these apps, I have sign up information down in the description below. And for some of them, you may find affiliate links and discounts as well. Now let's dive right in. I'm going to start with the scrolling music apps and I'm going to show you where you can find their song libraries and also what the play mode looks like for each of these apps. Let's start with Floki. Now Floki advertises that they have over 1500 songs, but I wasn't able to find a single list anywhere. It's not online. And while they do make it easy to find songs in your specific level, you can see here they have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and pro. And also if you scroll down in their song library in the app, you'll see the different categories that they have. So romantic, classical music, Christmas, pop hits, film and TV, game music, jazz, melancholy, evergreens, happy, rock, partners, groovy, kids, traditionals, R&B, energetic, mellow, Asian pop, and smooth. So they have quite a few categories in here. When you go to the search function in the app and you begin searching for a song, we'll go ahead and search Ode to Joy. You can see here, this is where they say they have 1500 songs. For example, they have three versions of Ode to Joy. So they have multiple arrangements of the same piece. So whether the 1500 includes all three of those or it just means the one single song, I'm not sure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play one of these so that you can see what their play mode looks like. <laughs> so there is a quick example of what the play mode looks like in Floki. Let's move on to Scoove. Okay, now Scoove's list of songs is also only found within the app itself. You can see it's broken down into three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you go to any level, underneath the top section here, you'll see featured songs. And so they are divided by level. The song list is not searchable, but it is in alphabetical order. So here in the beginner song list, we'll scroll down to the O's and you'll see our version of Ode to Joy here. Now looking at the numbers, Scoove has 174 total arrangements, including 85 beginner, 71 intermediate, and 18 advanced. Based on the number of arrangements that they have, I'm assuming there is just one arrangement for each song. They don't have the same song in different levels. And you can see Scoove is really focused on the learning aspect, because even when you go directly into a song, it does focus on the different aspects of learning it. But if you skip all the way to the end, you can see there is a play in time. And this is a scrolling version here. And you can see how it looks in Scoove when you miss a note. Now we're gonna take a look at Piano Academy. In Piano Academy, you get to the songbook by going to the menu and clicking on songbook. You won't find it online. The library is broken up into beginner right hand songs, beginner left hand songs, and then intermediate and advanced. There are 381 total songs in Piano Academy and that makes it 218 beginner right hand, 20 beginner left hand, 41 intermediate and 102 advanced. Now let's go ahead and find Ode to Joy and that is in the beginner right hand section. And you can see the play format here is the scrolling version. And there you can see what happens when you miss notes. There's also a practice mode, which will take you to some of the other features there. Next up in the scrolling category is Musician. Now Musician is the first one that we've come to in this video that has their song library online. I'll provide the link down below, but it is musician.com slash song slash piano. There are approximately 750 unique songs in Musician, and that includes some originals by the musicians. Under each song, when you search online, you'll see they sometimes list multiple arrangements for that song. So I don't have an exact count of the total number of arrangements in Musician. It could number in the thousands, but all I know is that there are approximately 750 unique songs. Now Musician features a lot of what I would call radio music. They don't have a way to search by the genres or by the level online. 
Let's go ahead and switch to the app here. Now I've been unable to find an entire song library in the app. You can go up to the search feature here and search for any song though. We'll go ahead and search Ode to Joy. Now in this case you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different versions of Ode to Joy in different levels and arrangements. Within the app you can filter the search by levels 0 to 15 and the genres, which you can see up on your screen here. Let's go ahead and do this last one, Ode to Joy in C, where you can see they do have a practice mode, or you can go straight into the play. Now, Musician does have a unique feature in that they show you where your fingers need to go before you start the song. my worst version yet, but you can see how it gives you feedback on the notes you play right and wrong. You can also, when you pause it, switch up the notation. So if you prefer to make it a bit easier, you can do it in the colored or the enhanced mode. Next up, let's take a look at Simply Piano. Simply Piano song library is only found within the app. Again, you're gonna mainly find songs you hear on the radio in Simply Piano with also a smattering of classical music. Simply Piano is a little unique in that in order to get to the song library, you do have to complete Piano Basics and about 15% of Essentials 1. And then the songs will unlock and you can look into the library. If all you're interested in is the song library, it really doesn't take that long to get there though. Now Simply Piano has about 584 total arrangements. This does include some of the same songs across different levels. So you may have a song in Essentials 1 and then you may have the same song in Chords 1. They only break down the songs by courses, but they essentially go in order from easiest to hardest. And I'm not gonna try to break down how many are in each level because they have a lot of different courses. However, just so you know, if you see that a song is locked, it lets you know the song might be difficult. You can go ahead and say you want to play it anyway. So if you see that all the songs are locked, don't be too concerned. You can still go in and play them. Let's go ahead and search Ode to Joy. You can see they have two versions, one in Essentials 2 and one in Pop Chords. We'll go ahead and do the essentials. You can break this down into different sections because this is a learning app, but we'll go ahead and play the full song. They have very different types of accompaniment than you might hear in some of the other apps. They add a lot of background music as well. Simply Piano makes it obvious, but with pretty much all the apps, you can slow down the tempo here in the practice modes. And like all the other apps in this category, Simply Piano displays the music in a scrolling format. Now in some cases, they do have sheet music in Simply Piano. So if I go back to the menu, and you go to your hamburger menu here, you'll see a sheet music selection. But the sheet music is only revealed to you as you complete levels in the app. So right now, the first piece of sheet music happens to be Ode to Joy that's displayed. And you can hit the share button and print this piece of music from here. Okay, that wraps up our first category of apps with scrolling music. Now we're gonna move on to the apps which display the scores in more of a sheet music view. Let's start with Piano Marvel. Now you can find the Piano Marvel song listing online, and I've included the link down in the description, but it is pianomarvel.com slash music dash library. In order to see the full listing of songs, you do have to have a premium account and be logged in, but the free songs that are available on the app, you'll be able to see without logging in. Now I would say that Piano Marvel is best for spiritual, religious, folk, and holiday music. They do have some more pop songs. They have songs from musicals, for example, but you're not gonna find quite as much radio music as you do in some of the other apps I've already mentioned. Now Piano Marvel's also been around for a really long time and they have 6,577 approximately total arrangements. This does include many of the same songs in different arrangements for different levels. And you'll find some original music by the folks at Piano Marvel. Now, if I break this down, that is 2,800 beginner arrangements, 2,600 intermediate, 1,200 advanced, and 200 professional. Their song listing is found under the library in the app. And we'll just go ahead and search for our Ode to Joy.
Now we can see Ode to Joy has many different versions in here, four, eight, 13, it looks like, maybe 14 different versions just of Ode to Joy. And you can see that they go across a variety of levels and also have slower versions, left-handed only, things like that. Let's go ahead and just pick this level two version here. Now you can see they have many features in this app for managing how you wanna practice the song, but we're just gonna skip straight to play mode. lovely bit of playing. We'll stop it there. Now you can see the type of feedback here is a bit different than in the scrolling apps. They give you the feedback after you play and also show you a little bit about where you missed your timing. And finally in Piano Marvel there is a print button. Depending on the song, some have copyright issues with being able to print. But many of the songs I've been trying to learn I was able to print off and you can do that directly from your device or you can log in online on your computer and do your printing from there. Okay next up we're going to take a look at Tom Play. Tom Play is a bit different. It is not a piano learning app. It is just a sheet music app, but I thought I shouldn't leave it out since we're talking about song libraries here. And they do have the most extensive song library out of any of the apps. But to make sure I'm clear, Tom Play does not teach you to play piano. It strictly provides the sheet music, but it does have features for letting you slow down the song, add notations, practice certain sections over and over again, and things like that. You can find the entire library of Tom Play's songs online Link down in the description. I'm not gonna read it because it's quite a long link, but they mostly have a lot of classical scores and songs for movies. They have less of the kind of radio music if you're looking for that. You can find their listing of music styles online and in the app. You'll also see they have a wide variety of difficulty levels from beginner all the way up to upper advanced. Again, those 7,680 arrangements are often a lot of the same songs broken down to all kinds of different types of accompaniments and the levels. So I would say they probably have the most versions of a single song since they often put it in almost every level and have multiple accompaniment options when you do it. Now, if we break the songs down by difficulty level, they have 330 beginner, 660 very easy, 1230 easy, 1500 easy to intermediate. The most they have is 1800 for intermediates, 1,050 for intermediate to advanced, 900 advanced, 330 upper advanced. Now I would say I'm probably at the level of easy to intermediate, but I can enjoy playing songs from beginner all the way up to intermediate, depending on the song. Now you should also know with most of these apps, you get access to all the songs if you're paying for a subscription. Tom Play is a little bit different in that you can buy a subscription and have access to all the music, or as you can see next to these songs, you can buy them one song at a time. So if you're only interested in learning certain pieces of music, you can purchase that way as well. Okay, let's switch to the app and see what it looks like when you play. Now in order to find our music, we need to go to shop and we can search here. You can see the search function in Tom Play is pretty detailed. They have everything up here at the top, but they do have 10 different versions just of Ode to Joy. I'll go ahead and download the easy level. All right, we'll stop there. As I mentioned, since Tom Play is not a learning app, they don't give you feedback, but they do allow you to slow it down a bit if it's moving too fast for you and do some other things that allow you to sort of train before you play the whole song. Because they don't give you feedback, Tom Play does not require that you plug your keyboard in. It's not listening to your keyboard at all. And it's one of the only apps I believe that really probably looks better in portrait mode rather than landscape mode, but you can use it either way. And finally, they do have the print sheet music feature here. If you're subscribed to Tom Play Premium, there's a limited number of prints that you can do, I believe in a year long, the length of your subscription, but you can print directly from your device or you can search their library online and print from your computer. Okay, now finally we come to our last app, which is Playground Sessions. Playground Sessions does have their song library online. You can find it at playgroundsessions.com slash store slash songs, link in the description. There is quite a variation of genres here. And you can see they have rookie, intermediate, and advanced as their levels. There are 1,440 total arrangements in playground sessions. 
And that includes 540 rookie, 540 intermediate, and 420 advanced. Now, Playground Sessions is a learning app, but the way that you get access to songs is a bit more like Tom Play. When you buy a premium account with Playground Sessions, you have access to all their lessons, but if you want extra songs, you get five free songs a month, and after that, you get a discount as a member. But you do have to pay for them. If you don't have a membership subscription, then you can still download songs, but you have to pay for each one. So let's just search for Ode to Joy here. You can see that they have two different versions. And you can see all the different pricing that they have if you're not logged in. If you log in, you'll be able to go ahead and check out and download the song. Now you do have to find and download the songs in the web browser. Once you do that, you can switch over to the app and you'll be able to go to your song listing here, rookie, intermediate, or advanced. And if it's not downloaded yet, when you click on it, it will give you the link to download it into the app and then you'll be able to play it. Okay, so I've skipped down, I'm going to skip down to the bottom here so I can play the whole thing, but they do take you through learning the song. One, two, three, four, one, two, set, go. see like on the other apps they do give you feedback as you're playing it is in a sheet music view and if you want to print the song you can do that from the web browser version and I believe you just get a certain number of prints per song now just a couple of other things to keep in mind for pretty much all of these apps first if it is one of the learning apps so basically any app except Tom play I highly recommend that you use a digital piano or digital keyboard and plug it directly into the, your device and that is because the listening feature of all of the apps is not perfect and it can become frustrating if you're playing more complicated songs, the app may have trouble recognizing if you're hitting all the correct notes. In order to plug into your device, you're going to need a USB entry port. So you may need to buy some kind of adapter. This is simply a camera adapter for the iPad. And then the cord you're going to have is going to be a regular USB-C on one side. And the other side is more of a square shaped USB. Now I forget what this is called, but it is a USB and another letter I think at the end here. But if you look for a printer cable, it is the same type of cable you would get to connect a printer. The next thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that most of the scores in these apps are not the full song. So whether you're trying to play Vivaldi's Four Seasons or you're trying to play the latest song by Ed Sheeran, it is usually one verse and the chorus or a couple of verses and the chorus. And for classical pieces, it is typically the most famous part of the piece. But if you're looking for the entire arrangements of a piece or a song, you're likely going to want to look into getting traditional sheet music in a book. All right, so that about wraps it up for us today. Again, if you're interested in any of these apps or any of the information I mentioned in this video, you should find that down in the description below. Feel free to comment and ask any questions or make any comments you have or mention any other apps that I might have missed. Full disclosure, I do have relationships with some of these apps, and so you may find an affiliate link down below. If you sign up for the app through that link, I do get a commission. If you're interested in other ways to support my channel, I'll also provide a link to a video that I did on ways that you could do that without spending more of your own money. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you all for joining me, and stay tuned for more. Bye.